I hope you're not out somewhere making this call. You all right? I'm in my hotel room. I had a little champagne earlier with some of the cast and crew. <sighs> Listen, I, uh, I got your letter. Oh, you did? Yeah, and I'm, I'm missing you just as much. I'm sorry, it's probably really late and... Oh, listen, guess what? We got the project. Oh, that's fantastic, yeah. baby. You know what that means? A whole chain of bloody hotels. Well done to all of you, that's fantastic news. Mm. You know, uh, I'm fucking knackered now. We haven't even started yet. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take about six months to complete the designs, but uh, hey, things are looking bright, baby. Uh, I wish you were with, uh, with me tomorrow night. What's tomorrow? No, it's just a, it's a, a, a celebration of drinks. I just wish you were, were with me, that's all. I'll be home soon. Yeah? In fact, there's something I wanted to say to you. Yes, I'll move in with you. That's, that's great news. Are you sure about this? Yes, of course. I asked you, didn't I? Yes, but anyone can change their mind. No, no, sweetheart, I haven't changed my mind. Definitely, then. We've already started 5 a.m. as predicted. From day one, I'm looking like shit because I'm not getting enough sleep. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. Yeah, well, as, uh, as long as those big guys aren't flirting with you. Of course not. <laughs> There's nothing for you to worry about, baby. Listen, what am I going to get you all to myself? In five weeks. I know. But you let me okay. all to yourself as soon as I get back, okay? All right, well, I can't wait. Good night, then, my sweet man. I love you madly. All right. I love you, too.
You look ill. It's so beautiful. So relentlessly sad. What is? The movie. What movie is it? I'm letting you down. No, no. I worry about you, that's all. I don't think you're even following that. I'd like to make us a nice dinner. I'd like to talk. Don't you think we should? One glass of this very fine red won't drive you insane. Well, are you going to join me? Or do I have to drag you in there? <laughs> Don't touch me. I asked you specifically not to push me out of this.
Who is this? Please, please tell. What, what is this? What are you? What are you doing? Please, who, who are you? What? What just? Is this come out some kind of sick fucking game or something? Look, I don't, I don't know who you are or, or what you want, but please, just, just get me out of here. Please, I can't breathe. I'm, 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 I'm close to the floor, big. Please. <laughs> who the fuck is talking to me? It's me. You're right. Not a sick game. Not a game. What have I done? <sighs> you want to try my patience? Are you sick? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sick. I'm, I'm claustrophobic. There's no air. I'm asking you, are you sick? I don't understand what you're asking, what you're saying. Your mind. My mind? No, no, I'm, no I'm not sick. I'm... How much do you put on the value of a life? Of course, I value my life. Please just listen. If you're just, if you're just gonna let me out, then uh, I, 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 I'll sit with you. Uh, but we can talk, yes? I'm not here to help. I ask questions and get answers. What the fuck have I done? I've had, I, what, I, must, I must have done something. What, what the fuck is it? Swings and roundabouts. <laughs> Tell me about conscience. What the fuck are you talking about? Filthy mouth. Have it your own way. No, please, please. Please. No, don't go. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh, 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 uh. Are you there? Please, please! If anyone can hear me, please help me! Oh. Can you hear me? He's still there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, right? Please talk to me. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. Can I show my wife how beautiful she looks tonight? Do you see it like you used to? You used to see your beauty. Dinner smells nice.
you're not going to join me. You don't have to worry about me, John. You probably haven't eaten all day. Don't you like it? Another glass. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. You start. Please! I beg you, please! Now you'll talk. It's time to talk. What are we talking about? No, 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 no. This is the direction I want this conversation to go in. I'm not gonna die, am I? I'm going to rot in this fucking box. Please, just shut your mouth. Please. Please. Please, just let me out. No more talking until you're ready to get into the mindset to cooperate. Stupid cunt! Do you use this level of command on your part? Do you hurt her? Of course I don't hurt her! What are you talking about? Is she at the end of that ham-like fist when you don't get what you want? Of course I don't... You know nothing about it! Answer my questions! You, I tell you what, you, you, go, you go anywhere near her. You go anywhere near her and I'll kill you! Do you understand that? <laughs> Are we the comedian? The only killing you'll ever do again will be time. Take your power with my fucking bare hands, do you understand? Last time you're familiar with. That's no answer. What do you want from me? My questions only. Jesus Christ. You love your girlfriend? Of course I love my girlfriend. I never harm her. I wouldn't harm anyone. Anyone! Define that love you have for her. How do you find me? Define that love you have for her. Ah. Uh, right. We're moving in together. Right? Ah. Uh, I love him. I love him. More and more each day. Why? Oh, fuck. I don't know. She, she, she cares for me. She, she's sweet. Um, Why do you love her more every day? Do I fucking know you? Fucking, fucking, fucking. How fucking inarticulate of you. Is it your inability to express your feelings that pushes you to hurt others? You trivialize their pain? What are you... The 
hell are you talking about? Can you describe to me why you love your girlfriend and how it grows every day? I'm going to share all this with you. You are sharing this with me. Why? Why? Finish your answer. She's, she's good to me, right? I've told you she's good to me. She cares for me. What more do you want? Terrible pity. What do you mean? You've just made a very wrong move in life. As simple as a wrong move. As simple as looking in the wrong direction. As simple as making one wrong direction that puts you in the path of someone with the ability... No, no. The strength to fight back. What the fuck are you talking about? That's right. Come to that realisation. Come to bed. Can I get you anything? I'm okay, thanks. Not sleeping? No. Oh, poor me. Poor you. Fuck poor me. John, I'm busy here. So do you mind? Mommy's a selfish cunt, John. So is Daddy. What are you thinking? You belong deep in the earth, out of harm's temptation. You'll need to explain this to me. I, I just don't know what you want. Evil must be buried deep, where the worms can purify. Why do you think I'm evil? Help yourself and tell me her name. What name? Who, who are you looking for? Her name. For fuck's sake. I, it's Gillian, Monica, Susan, Samantha, Sally. Helen, I don't know, what, what fucking name do you want? I want you to tell me the correct name. What name? Tell me her name. Her name, her name, her name. What, what fucking name? You're determined to die. It's what do you want? Stop, please, stop. Do, do I know you? Hey, do I know you? What have I ever fucked you, is that it? Hey? Well, I fucked you and, uh, what? Well, I, I didn't call you back. Oh, well, I'm sorry, right? I'm fucking sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Jeez, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'll do. Just just let me out and I'll, I'll fuck you, right? How about that? How about that? Is, that? is that what you want? Hey, you want a, you want a nice fuck? Is that what you want? You bit of fucking whore. You fuck. You want, tell you what, you dried up cunt. You let me out of here, and I'll make those juices flow nice and nice, eh? Isn't that what you want? Shut your fucking filthy, depraved mouth. Stay here and die. Yeah, yeah I will. <laughs> what is her name? Amy's a name, well that too. Tell me about her. What do you want to know? Tell me something about her. She's... She's sweet. She's... She's got blonde hair. Why did you hurt her? I didn't hurt her. I didn't hurt anybody. Burn in hell. I didn't hurt anybody! What did you do to that little girl? What little girl? I touched, 
I don't know what you're talking about. What little girl? Fucking scum. <laughs> Remember her name. That's the only way you're ever getting out. Answer me. I'm going to call you Jack. You're going to repent, Jack. Who are you? Tell me her name, Jack. For Christ's sake. Oh, you'll find no help there. That's a place for people who beg forgiveness for their sins. What's her name? 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 Her name? What's 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 her name? Her name? Her name? What's 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 her name? Jeff. Fuck it! Stupid fucking cunning fucking bitch! You fucking hoe! Fucking hoe! It's all cheap wood. But I don't think that matters to you. The lid and sides are just an inch thick. Even if you manage to break out of the box, you'll have a lot of earth to claw through. In fact, if you did manage to make a hole in the lid, then the box would soon fill with earth and you'd suffocate. Isn't it worth talking to me now, before time runs out? You're going nowhere. Nowhere, Jack! What the fuck have I done to you?! Is that all? Will it do to die here, Jack? What is my daughter's name? What is my daughter's name? What do you mean? I... Tell me her name. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't know her name. I don't know who she is. Do you know what the body does when it's suffocating? No. It starts with the tightness in your chest. It feels as if someone's sitting on your ribcage, pressing down harder all the time, until it feels as if your lungs are being squeezed in a vice. You start to feel lightheaded, but you must be feeling that already. The pain in your chest gets worse. I hope you stay alive as long as you can. I hope to watch you suffer. And when you die, all your muscles relax. <laughs> You'll die lying in your own excrement in urine. That'll be most fitting for you, don't you think? Just please. Just please let me out. Look, I can, I can tell you terrible things if you want. My daughter. 
She suffered before she died. She's just... Your... Your husband. Thea, does he know you're doing this? You're not helping me. Look, I'm not interested in your... Your fucking tragedy, do you understand? I'm not interested in you. You're your fucking daughter. Just let me out. The one for the girl with long brown hair. Her hair reached down to her bum so she could sit on it. She loved her long brown hair and loved to brush it too. She would do it best at night when she sat alone in her bedroom looking out from the huge black window at the bottom of her high bed. Brush, comb, brush. Her mummy told her that she probably brushed it too much and she should leave it when it looks nice and instead plait it when she was going to bed. But not Dolly. That's what she liked to call herself. She wanted to brush her own hair, so she did. she was brushing her hair before the window again. She saw something that made her stop brushing. Leaving her brush down on the bedding, she reached out her face to get a closer look. With that, the shadow of a man peered in at her and she nearly collapsed with fright. However, instead of collapsing, she put her hand over her mouth to stop herself from screaming and let the man show himself to her. All this happened within seconds. He had eyes that were sunken in his head. But he looked very plastic. As though he wasn't real. He came closer to the window and then used his longest finger to beckon her to follow him. Why would she follow a stranger into the darkness? Instead, she sat there with her hand over her mouth, nodding, no. No way, she thought. That's the first rule a kid is taught. Never pay any heed to strangers. Never accept sweets from them. And certainly never follow them. It was when he cried a single tear that she began to drop her hand from her mouth and feel the tiniest bit sorry for him. In fact, now filled with feelings of fear and sorrow, she couldn't decide whether she was in a dream or not. And then, even though she should have known better, she opened the window, climbed out, and caught his hand. She was thinking as she climbed down into a large black hole in the ground in the middle of the forest that her mummy was fast asleep and would never know where Dolly was. But something made her follow the plastic man and follow she did. Within minutes they disappeared into the forest no trace of them left. A 
and that was it. Window open. Dolly gone. The end. He said to be straight with him. I'm being straight with him. It's difficult. Of course. Come on. Things like this are bound to take unexpected turns. I'm prepared for unexpected turns. difficult to find, Jack. I've been watching you for weeks now. Watching you, enjoying your life, doing the things that my daughter will never get the chance to do. Please, please, you have to believe me. If I knew anything about your daughter, I would tell you. You'd lie to me. I never touched a hair on your daughter's head, you understand? Don't insult me. Look, this there's people out there, right? There's the people who care for me, who'll be looking for me. My friends, my family. <laughs> no one's going to find you, Jack. I'm going to read you a passage from a very important book. After I'm done with you, you're out of my hands. Beneath the earth and beneath the surface of wood he shall dwell until he bears his sins. He will speak only to confess. Do not filter your purpose with distractions. Confess, he will. And then through your voice, he will bring peace. If you ask the sinful for his sins, you must listen carefully. Only then can you bring forgiveness to these wretched beings. Only then will the true meaning of peace come to you. Let me the fuck out! Let me out!
felt her little body talk to me. I know all these moments. When she was hungry. She's upset. Tired. All these moments only a mother. Sleep. What time is it? Hmm. Why don't you take off that fucking suit? It's really beautiful out here. 
Why don't you sit beside me? Jane. Come on, sit beside me, please. Answer me. It's going as I expected. And how's that? It's difficult, John. Do you want me to help you? Are you not speaking to me? Do you really want to know? Well, I want to know something, for Christ's sake. Why don't... You let me do... Why don't you let me help you? I don't need that kind of help. What do you think I did to your daughter? Yeah, that's right. I fucked her. I stabbed her. Over and over again. And I cut her up into tiny little pieces. Tiny postage stamp pieces. You know, if, if I had your address, I would have fucking sent it to you. How old was she? Why didn't you watch her? You're a mother. You're responsible for her. Tell me her name. I didn't ask a fucking name. What did you call her? Amy. They're all Amy to me. Do you remember her face? No. Of course you remember. <laughs> She wasn't like other girls. You destroyed an angel. Where's your proof? What is your proof that I murdered and raped a child, eh? You won't live, Jack. Is the weight on your chest? Because you'll feel the pressure soon, and believe me, that pressure will be relentless.
You seem better. How was your day? Oh, just another day. Hard to concentrate though, you know. Hard to live it like it's just another day. I know, baby. She sits with me, waiting for the answers. A mother should do whatever she can to protect her child. Wouldn't you agree? Don't you agree, John? What do fathers do? All parents want to protect their children, Jane. Well then, she must have answers. If you say so. I know what I'm doing. Don't suppose you're here to join me? Can I get you anything? Some dinner, maybe? Yeah, sure. Tell me why you murdered my baby? Why did you butcher my little girl? Why did you rape and butcher my little girl? Why are you asking me these fucking questions? I'm sorry, cunt, but I didn't touch your fucking daughter. I didn't lay a hand on your daughter. You're fucking crazy. You're fucking crazy. What did you do to her? You know, you're going to have to tell me what I did to her. Otherwise, I can't help you. Do you understand? Please. Please, I don't want to die. Neither did my daughter, but you gave her no choice. You begged. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your daughter. Tell me then how you're fucking sorry. Tell me. I'm sorry. Tell me what you did to her, my daughter. I raped her. How did you rape her? What, what you, what do you mean how, how, how did I rape her? How did you rape her? With your filthy cock? Tell me, now. How did you rape my daughter? Jesus. Answer my fucking questions. How did you rape her? You're sick. You're fucking sick. I, I raped her, right? I, I, I hurt her, I punished her. I don't... How did you rape her? Just what more do you want me to say? Haven't you had enough? You've got your confession. How did you rape her with your cock? Did she try to fight you off? Did you threaten to kill her if she didn't let you put your cock in her? You did that to her? Did she fight you off, my little girl? She did the best. You gave her no choice. You stole her from where she was safe, and you did terrible things to her. Tell me these terrible things. You want to suffer. I want you to suffer. What did you do to her? I destroyed her. Isn't that enough for any mother to take? 
You are a fucking disgusting monster! A disgusting monster! You are a fucking disgusting evil monster! Disgusting evil evil monster! You are a disgusting fucking terrible person! I will destroy you! I will destroy you! You are nothing! Nothing evil! Pure, uncompromising evil! You will tell me what you did to her! Do you hear me? You... You will never... Understand. When I sat there with some fucking bullies woman But that means nothing to you! It means nothing to you! It never means nothing to people like you! The consequences a stranger to you now. Don't. I can see it written all over your face. You don't want me to ask you anything. That makes me sick to my stomach. Can you even hear me? I don't want to do this anymore. These your final words? What more can you want? You've done nothing to help me, to convince me. What? What you want me to say? You have said nothing. Nothing. I've told you. I'm innocent. You told me lies. Nothing but life. You are all the same. How can I help you now? 
What more do you fucking want me to say? I've told you everything. Tell me again. I want more detail. I am responsible for your daughter's death. I killed her. I suffocated her. And I raped her. You suffocate her before you raped her. I didn't care if she was dead. I raped her when she was unconscious. I raped her. And then, then I cut her body into tiny little pieces so no one could identify her. You did all that to her? Yes, yes. How did you cut her up? Oh, Jesus Christ. I cut off her legs. Then I cut off her arms. And then, then I severed her neck to free her head. How could you? Do that if you've never done it before. I don't know. I cannot help you.
you thought of me, I was right You know I'm never wrong And you'll see what I see before long And the rain's falling down And I know that my crown may have slipped just a bit The harmonies begin to wander free That this song was never meant to be And the band won't play on So when you leave Don't forget to close the door When you leave Don't you dare come back for more Cause you know can't be by your side And the rain's falling down And I know that my crown May have slipped just a bit